Shout outs to the Verbank community. <laughs> <laughs> That's more true than you think it is. Oh, believe me, I know. I know. Verbank, Verbank. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Psycho Goldfish. Hey everybody, welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. I am Psycho Goldfish, and I have a band of misfit co-hosts with me today. Uh, we've got Bull Boy. What's up, Ben? Whoa, whoa. We got uh, Jacob. Uh, apparently he's going by Fuckface today. What's up, Fuckface? Yo, what's good? And my sister from another mister, uh, Polly Waffle, a.k.a. Shit on a Stick, a.k.a. Sam. What's up, Sam? Howdy. Howdy. Don't let her fool you. She is not Texan. She uh, is from the deep south of Quebec. So, but we're probably just as racist, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And we have a special guest today. We have a uh, Stan Pie. He is on the show today to let us know about an event he is throwing, the New Grounds Summer Festival. Stan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. So, uh, tell us a little bit about the Summer Festival. What is that? What's going on? Sure. So uh, some of you who I've been hanging out with here on this server have heard already as I've been pinging, you know, we're looking for panelists, this and that. The Newgrounds Summer Festival is a virtual Newgrounds convention. Uh, basically, long story short, you know, I really enjoyed the uh, the art office hours event that Zen threw. And uh, I've been looking at hosting a virtual convention in general. My background, I've been working as convention staff for many years uh, even pre-pandemic, obviously, there haven't been any conventions during other than virtual stuff or people who completely disregarded, you know, whatever proclamations were made <laughs> by governments. So, you know, for the rest of us, a lot of this convention culture has really been kind of on the sidelines. And, you know, so taking my background and experience, uh, my love of the Newgrounds community and, of course, the, the Newgrounds community itself, I thought, let's let's make a, a banging event. Uh, for everybody to to have a part in so i reached out to tom he gave me the thumbs up and here we are so it's going to be happening june 25th weekend so you've got a month to prepare and uh well, we've we've got plenty of different things to talk about so i guess i'll, I'll just kind of let you transition into that but for those who want to know what it is it's a new grounds virtual convention you're all invited and is there going to be like booth babes and shit? Because that, that's a big seller. That depends on you. So, <laughs> you know, we, we have the opportunity for anybody to get involved with the event as an attendee. If you want to host a panel, uh, the only requirements, there are two of them. The first is that you must be 18 or older. Uh, this is just for, you know, protecting the youngins. And, uh, Bad day to be a baby. It is. Sorry, <laughs> fuckface. Um, but then <laughs> the other requirement is that... You have a new grounds account. Those are the only requirements. Um, and then, you know, you fill out the panel application. I'll review it. I'll share it with the team. And if it looks like a good fit, then we'll be able to talk about putting you on the schedule. Uh, the event is planned for three days. So, you know, whether it's going to be like just Friday evening, all of Saturday, maybe Sunday morning and wrap things up, or if it extends longer, depending on how many panels and things that we have, uh, it really is going to depend on community turnout to to see how long this thing is, is going to go. Uh, I can say, if I, I can give like the first formal panel announcement, Newgrounds podcast will be in attendance. Uh, you guys have a panel. Surprise. That's right. The news Woo! Here on the show. We got one. So the New Grounds podcast will have a panel at the Summer Festival, and there are more announcements to come. But if again, if you'd like to be a part of that, uh, we have a deadline for the panel application, which is June 1st. Now, if you find out about this maybe a day or two too late, contact me on Newgrounds. Let me know, hey, I, I just heard about it. I'm sorry. Then, okay, uh, maybe I'll uh, give you the link. But for the most part, we're trying to wrap things up. We've already got a handful of applications in. So, you know, we, we, we look like we're going to have plenty of programming to get this thing going. Uh, so I'm just excited to see what uh, people are going to bring in. And I'm going to drop a... Nice quick link in the show live chat uh this is the same post that is on the front of the calendar the ng summer fest you can read that for more information including getting the link 
to the panel application and more. And we'll be linking that in the description on new grounds. So if you're hearing this recorded version and the deadline to apply has already passed, well. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, if you're hearing this too late to apply, uh, you know, let me know. Contact me, Standpy on Newgrounds, and tell me, yo, I just heard this on the NGP and I didn't know about it. Here, I, I really want to do a panel. Here's what I got. You know, we can maybe make an exception, but I'm trying to keep things tight so we can kind of get get the schedule finalized sooner than later. Uh, also, big shout outs to uh, Slimy Goo who did the illustration for the first update, uh, which you guys are seeing right there with Pico. Yeah, and that is some sweet ass art. Yeah, I really like that. It, it was, yeah, it was awesome. It's summer. It's, you I, look at it, it's, like, it, it's summer. I want that. I want to know why Darnell's like holding a, a fucking ignited lighter. Um, a fire. <laughs> Welcome to Newgrounds, bro. I'm like, why, is starting a, why is Darnell starting a fire? I don't know. Why is Pico <laughs> holding a gun? Why does Nene have a knife? Like... <laughs> I put out a cartoon about a, a month ago where the tank men were saying, we got people who don't even know what blamming is. You know, it's that kind of feeling. Right. Dar Darnell Fucking starts fires. That's, that's his thing. I know, right? These, <laughs> these, these new ground zoomers, you know, they, they call them Pico Friday night Funkin'. They don't, they don't know anything about the, uh, the classic culture. And that's, <laughs> that's a perfect transition actually, because we'd like to see some panels covering new grounds, culture and history. So if you want to talk about why, why our man has a lighter in his hand, that would be a great time to do it. I almost feel like it would be depressing if we go too far back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, look, I mean, we could do it like this. It, you, before it was everything by everyone, the tagline was the problems of the future today. So, I mean, you, know, you could take that however you want. Yeah, but we don't want yesterday's problems coming back at us. Yeah, that's we true. got through that phase. It could be one of those like grandma, grandpa moments. But back in my day, we only had the BBS. There was no art portal. We had back in my day, we chatted in the IRC. They yeah. called him Ego Raptor in my day. <laughs> we had webcams, and then you did little collaborations with your partner on the side. <laughs> yeah, and I, I should partner mention on the side. I specified 18 and up to host a panel, but uh, the actual live stream for the event will be public on YouTube and anybody of all ages can watch the public live stream because there are so many different kinds of creators on Newgrounds. You know, I wanted to make sure that we kind of cater to all the different audiences. So that includes those who are, of course, you know, old enough to see some of the after hours programming, which we do have time for on our schedule. But again, that sort of thing will not be broadcast on YouTube, but the stuff that is you know, safe to listen to on YouTube, you'll be able to uh, to tune in for that. So even if you're not over 18, you can still tune into the event. Yeah, I was going to say on that note, you actually do have uh, room for people in the not safe for work community. So, uh, you know, bring bring your freak on to this event. But absolutely, you can't be, you can't be in the all ages part. part. <laughs> correct, correct. Um, basically, you know, I, and the second update for the Newgrounds Summer Festival, which I will also drop a link to, uh, it's on the bottom of the first update, a link to it. It has the uh, attendee registration form. And this is basically the same thing, just confirming your age. Uh, and this one that we have an illustration by I'm Kevin, with another summer banging uh, wallpaper for those of you who are looking for it. So uh, check that out. That's where we have the sign up. If you want to actually, you know, just be an attendee in the discord, you know, once we verify that you're not a minor, you can hop in. So that's kind of the most important thing though, is we want to make sure we, we put our best foot forward and, and not expose, you know, people who shouldn't see certain things to certain things. So is there a, a specific process you're using to verify people's age? Uh, yeah. So, you know, we're, we're kind of doing it a few different ways. Uh, for some people it's as simple as sending in uh, some kind of ID. So, you know, we've had people who are going to be doing panels that have also done the same thing. They verify their age by showing like a portion of their ID that just shows their birthday. You know, they cover their address, um, but just that kind of thing. You know, we, we want to make sure we do it like we would at, a, at an actual convention. I mean, like I said, this right, is kind right. of my background. We have 18 plus panels at cons. What do you do? You know, you check IDs <laughs> at the door. So yep. that's as simple as that. I mean, again, we respect people's privacy. So if it, that's something you're not comfortable with, if there is no other way to verify your ID that you can come up with or that we can come up with, you're still welcome to, like I said, anybody can attend the public part of the event, which does not require an ID. 
So that, if, so, if yeah. someone can tell you why Darnell has a lighter, does that get them in the door? That you know that certainly helps. <laughs> uh, that that would, I would be more inclined to believe that they are not under eighteen if they said that. But we also have some some like hardcore Newgrounds culture specialists that are like I don't know fifteen <laughs> years old these days. Uh, they even use gamer words. I've heard. I've noticed. So you know they're they're real old school. What if they simply draw themselves older with a mustache? Would that suffice? Well, I mean, I had a mustache when I was in high school, so I would say no. Darn, you heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first, yeah. Yeah, but what if they have a really cool ID? They're just full of what glitters and sparkles? You know, <laughs> we'll, we'll take a look at everybody's ID on a case-by-case -case basis. So in the chat, we have a question. I don't have an ID. Like, what do I do? Uh, you know, fill out the attendee registration form, and then uh, we'll contact you, and, and we'll have to figure out some way to verify your, you know, your age. And again, you know, this is, we have enough lead time into this event. We have a team of people who've stepped up to volunteer. And the volunteer application is also still open uh, if you want to sign up for that and, and work out with the event in some way, not as a panelist, but just helping behind the scenes. Well, that also closes on the first, so you can feel free to apply for that. But uh, again, just fill out the application, you know, we'll... We'll, we'll kind of use our best judgment, you know, obviously privacy, like I said, privacy is a big concern and uh, I want to make sure that people are taken care of on, on all fronts. That sounds good. Um, so what kind of help are you guys still looking for right now? So right now I'm just kind of taking in applicants. Um, I've, I've only assigned like a very, a very small number of specific positions, but things that we'll need help with would just be, you know, moderating panels, making sure that things are going on time. Uh, if you have events such as, you know, some kind of community draw pile or something going on during the event. It'd be nice to have somebody from the staff just making sure things are going well there and kind of moderating it a little bit. You know, realistically, because so much of the event is oriented toward the 18 plus crowd, not that it's not safe for work, but I mean, let's be realistic here. You know, it, you, see ta you, you see tank <laughs> men and, and like, what kind of joke do you think of when you see tank men? You know, wholesome family entertainment. Yeah. Well, you're clear. Yes, yeah, it's already been written in the chat. You know, Lucas wrote in the chat. <laughs> There's another one as well. So, I mean, that that's how it is, you know, and, and that's just the nature of the beast. I mean, look, we were all kids at some point. I first found Newgrounds in like 2005, you know, and like I said, I'm 27 now. But back then I was definitely too young for some of the stuff that I, I found, <laughs> you know, and it's the Internet. People tend to get around things, you know, they lie on their are you 18 or older thing. I'm I'm trying to do my best to prevent that because I want to make sure we don't have any actual problems. So, you know, aside from that, though, let's that's what the event's all about. So helpers, we're looking for people who can help moderate people who can help us with the onboarding process uh, for like attendees who are signing up, helping with keeping the panel schedule, notifying panelists when their panel is coming up, maybe helping record some of the stuff that's going on, those kind of things. So if you've got experience with conventions or you're just really passionate about the Newgrounds community or a combination of the two, this is the kind of event we're looking for people like you. So there you go, folks. If you got the skills, get in on this and uh, yeah. I, I like the uh, the variations of, I'm, I'm reading in the chat, the variations of the uh, kind of humor in Tank Men. And uh, it's like one of those deconstruction <laughs> memes. <laughs> Genital top foolery. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's probably one of the better ones. Wiener <laughs> shenanigans, sausage horse. Yes. Oh, come on, that's like that's really a stretch. There should be a panel just this this. Yeah. Of uh of yeah. what like variations of the, yes. of the type yes. of joke. You know what? Yep. If you think that's a great idea, fill out the panel application. <laughs> More importantly, Josh, what's your uh, babe booth outfit going to be? Yeah, uh, I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking a nice cool. little two piece, uh, maybe some mm. ideal boots, you know, some thigh high boots. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think purple would uh, bring out your eyes. Match with some purple lipstick. Well, who, who are you cosplaying as? What do you, what do you mean cosplay? Isn't that, isn't that the whole point of booth, babe? You got to cosplay. You got to get those gamer nerds in there. No, he makes a point. Oh, I think I think they'll they'll come. Well, how else are they? Sp I mean, they'll still come, but I don't know how happy they'll be. But you think you're enough that they would come for you? I already am. Uh, Speaking of booth babes and gamer nerds, that's actually a very useful transition for uh, our game dev showcase, which I would like to talk a little bit about. So uh, for those of you who are on Newgrounds and are game devs, or you know, you have a Newgrounds account, but you're making a game that might not be for Newgrounds, so like maybe it's going to be published somewhere else, or 
you know, or it's going to be a web-based game. Whatever the case, we have a game dev showcase application. Uh, we're going to hopefully have enough applicants to actually showcase a number of games with a series of trailers. Uh, you could see it something like how you'd see a Nintendo Direct or something where you just have trailer after trailer showcasing stuff coming from the Newgrounds community. So if that's something that you do, if you're a game dev, you know, if you're working on a title, feel free to fill out the game dev uh, showcase application, which is also in the second update to uh, the Newgrounds Summer Festival. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity for people to get involved in this event. And I really, you know, the way I see it, this thing is going to happen either way. But how big and how much content there is relies on the community's effort collectively. So if you're doing a lot of stuff on Newgrounds, you've been really active. If you're into, you know, coordinating projects, this is a great chance to meet other creators. Um, one of the other things that we've already seen some amazing turnout for, we have a tag for the art portal, uh, NG Summerfest 2021, that has already seen quite a bit of awesome you know, contributions. So if you're an artist and you'd like to put something that could show up in the uh, festival, well, just use this tag when you upload to the art portal. And uh, we'll be taking some of these and putting them on a rotating wallpaper during the event. So, I mean, you know, the whole thing, like I said, it, we're looking to make this like a real virtual co like convention. Uh, I'll drop the tag for those who want to see some of the art that's already been made. I mean, people have really been doing a tremendous job at uploading their summer themed Newgrounds art. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what else is out there. Yeah, there's a lot of good shit in there already. Uh, we need more, but there's a lot of good shit. In there. Yeah, exactly. Like if we had to launch <laughs> tomorrow, we've got it. But you we know, got it. You, you got another what? You got another month to put out some more. Yeah, yeah. Do you see this uh, being an annual thing after this or is this more just a uh, kill time during the pandemic? You know, that's a great question. I think the first show will be kind of what sets the, the tone of whether or not we'll do another event sooner, later, or never. Um, so, you know, I, I can't say for certain. I would love to do it again if it is successful. But, um, you know, that does depend on a lot of different factors. So we'll start with one. And based yeah. on based on how one goes, maybe we do another one and so on. And I guess also if anybody has any questions on the show chat, Please be sure to drop them while I'm still here for this segment so I can answer them in advance. So here's a good example, right? So Lucas Draws says, like, someone's going to give them a trailer for a hentai game. So that is allowed, actually. Um, like I said, there is a game dev showcase, but it could be for the normal hours game dev showcase or the after hours game dev showcase. I'm completely fine with that because, again, we are catering to all parts of the Newgrounds community. There is a huge community of people who are there for the adult content. So that's the after hour stuff. Have you ever seen a convention that has any content real and you've ever wanted to be involved in that, but you know they weren't going to let you in the door? The door is open for this one, guys. Get in there. Exactly. And and I think, you know, there's there's a degree of, of, of privacy because a lot of creators, even though, like I said, we do need to verify age, but we don't necessarily need to to expose where you who you are by name or where you're from so this is a good chance for people who might have hosted an event you know virtually or like they can't do it in person because then they'd have to be there in person it would expose their identity but virtually they can be anybody they want to be they can be their username if they need to be so you know this is i think this is a kind of a safe space for for those kind of creators as well to to not worry about hosting their event but um how long is the event going to be like i said it's planned for the june 25th weekend so three days and uh, will there be an actual ground that is completely new that will be revealed at this con? For the New Grounds Summer Festival, the new ground will be, at the very least, a new Discord server that uh, that hosts the event. So that will be your your at least one guarantee, Verbank. There will be new grounds at the New Grounds Summer Festival. <laughs> and then are there a lot of animation submissions for the festival yet? So animation submissions is, uh, is kind of an interesting interesting take. So we had a, a call that just expired on Sunday of this past week that um, we were kind of taking a look at whether or not we could do something, I guess, like a, a little bit like a Daikon 4 animated opening for the event. Um, so all I can say is stay tuned. Um, no promises, but I, I, you know, I wanted to see if there was interest in the production of such an event. And um, so if there are, if there are animations for the convention, uh, those would be entirely up to people independently to make or something that we're doing behind the scenes. Um, so at, at this time, like there's not a plan for an animation jam, uh, though you guys are more than welcome to do so. 
uh, the question of, is there a way for musicians to contribute to the event? So the answer is yes. So one of the things that I would like to do, um, aside from playing music from the audio portal, I'd also like to give people, if you're like, let's say you're an audio producer, you want to host a panel about music production, apply, apply for that panel. If you want to host a concert, you know, get a, get a bunch of people together that you'd want to have like a full DJ set with, if that's your thing, we can facilitate that if you've got the stuff on your end to help make that a reality. So again, this is, this is what it's all about. Uh, can you sell at the Newgrounds Festival? Like, can you sell your merchandise, sell art? I mean, the whole point is, you know, we are networking, right? So if you want to tell people that you've got some, you know, some stuff, you've got a commission sheet you want to share. If it's a link to your Newgrounds page, I don't really care. You know, as long as it's Newgrounds, that's that's cool. Uh, we're going to have some some different events, activities, prize support whenever possible. So if, if you have prizes to give or you'd like to host a contest, that's also something I'd love to hear about. But uh, yeah, if how can you promote your art during the Newgrounds Summer Festival? The easiest way is to make something original for the event so that it can be put in the rotating wallpaper. And hit it with that tag. Hit it with that tag. Yeah, you got to use that tag. NG Summerfest 2021. So where can you message Standpie about the Newgrounds Summer Festival? Newgrounds. <laughs> Standpie.newgrounds.com. That's S-T-A-N-P-A-I for those of you too lazy to read the comments and uh, type it in yourself. There you go. <laughs> like Senpai, except his name's Stan. Yeah, right, exactly. That's, that's exactly it. I gotta say, I am fucking stoked for this event. And like you mentioned, Newgrounds podcast is going to be there. We're going to be doing a panel. Um, I believe we might be reaching out to some other podcasts and just talking about podcasting uh, on Newgrounds in general. And it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of fun shit going on. I am stoked. Uh, thank you so much for putting this together. And thanks for coming on the show and, and telling us what's going on. My pleasure. And and again, if anybody has any questions that you didn't hear answered during this show, feel free to reach out to me. You can ping me here on the NGP server. You can contact me on Newgrounds as well. Whatever it is, you know, I'm around when I'm around. So I'm, I'm always happy to talk about ways that we can enrich this event. And thank you, Newgrounds Podcast, for having me. I'm, I'm thrilled that you guys are going to be part of the show as well. Hell yeah. Everybody give Stan a round of applause because putting again a, a, an event together is not easy. And he's been doing a lot of this on his own. I remember wanting to shoot myself just helping put the block party together last year. So, I mean, this dude gets some props, big props. So thank you so much, Stan, for all your work. You're, you're, doing, you're doing God's work. May you not feel like <laughs> killing yourself. I'm just doing new grounds work. That's what it's all about. And, and, and again, I want to give a quick shout out to Slimy Goo and to Kevin. Uh, who are both in the channel right now listening, uh, who did the art for the first and second updates. Those were some absolutely banging pieces of art. You guys rock. Be sure to drop the links to those. Yes, yeah, so we definitely in the, will. Slimy Goose actually got a couple of them in here that uh, that he's done. So you got to check that shit out. It's, it's yeah. so awesome. It's just that whole summer vibe. So just go into the art portal and check out the NG Summerfest 2021 tag, and you'll see all sorts of great stuff. And uh, if, if you're an artist, get in on this. Make some. It's just good old fun. And uh, now it is beer time, guys. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah. Responsibilities oh, are over. Stan, you're welcome to hang out and have a beer with us if you want, but I know you got stuff to do. Hey, yeah. Were you guys like sober up to this point? Because I wasn't, <laughs> I didn't know that was no. the rule. I just got okay. beer all over me. <laughs> like, r really? Like, oh, shit. I was the only one that had to be quasi responsible. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get that pour. Hold oh. on. Yes, get I it, appreciate get the, the the quality oh. of the the pouring sound effect I'm hearing coming. Oh, from you. That's, that's, that's it. It's beautiful. Mm. Oh. I think I poured in my pants a little bit just now. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, no. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked about do ASMR in the chat. The answer is uh, it'll happen eventually. Just commission yes. it. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Um, I, I do uh, on YouTube and, and on Newgrounds. I do because uh, I do voiceover. Like that's that's my other that's my main thing on Newgrounds. Like I do voices. So I um yeah. So some of the stuff I do is I'll do like character ASMRs or whatever. And someone asks, "When's the next Dio one?" Like from JoJo. Um, the answer is when you make it happen. <laughs> make me <laughs> Adam. Pay me and I'll do it. Stand yeah. 
<laughs> so, so what are you guys drinking? I'm drinking a, a big wave golden ale from Kona Brewery. It's good stuff. I've got a, the handle of Captain Morgan. Are you standing on one leg right now? Well, yeah. Oh boy. It's the only way. I've got a peg leg. Peg leg. Arr! Oh shit, there's a ball in here. Got a Guinness Nitro Brew because Josh got me on the Nitro Brews and now I, I'm addicted and I can't stop. What's, a, what's a, what? yep. a Nitro Brew? Is that what, what you never heard of Nitro? Oh, we got. Oh, you, you, you just set him off. You just said. <laughs> okay, just set him I'm sorry. Oh, Educate me. Oh. Educate me. Okay. Nitro okay. Goat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they take beer, base beer, and it, it's not as carbonated as normal beer, but they put a little hit of nitrogen in there. And so the nitrogen forms the bubbles. But they're silky smooth. So imagine a great tasting beer, but it also feels like velvet, just caressing your tongue. Wait, the bubbles lovely. are like they're flat bubbles. Like I don't understand. No, no, what they're, happens no, they're the really small. They're really small. So it just feels like the beer's just like making love to your tongue as you drink it. Mm. It's it's oh yeah, it's an experience. They've got the same thing with uh, with cold brew coffee. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, if you've ever had nitro cold brew coffee, coffee, the texture is kind of the same as that, but it's beer. Like you Definitely haven't. I haven't had either, so the experience is just like way over my head. As someone who doesn't like coffee or beer, I just feel so alienated by this. Coffee. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not jiving with everyone here. Me and Stan uh, be loners together. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna drink my. Well, that like defeats the whole loner thing. But I'm gonna drink my water in 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 rebellion. Oh, I mean. <laughs> well, here's the other thing. If you appreciate art, is it hard water? If you appreciate art, you're gonna appreciate nitro nitro beer. Because when you pour a nitro beer, <laughs> oh shut it's just, up! It's just like little cascade. tiny penises. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, like little tiny cascading penises down the side. Mm, it's just it's I amazing. Try. Like yeah, you, 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 once you go nitro, you never go See, back. I drink so carbonated water. I do like the fancy uh, flavored club soda stuff. So I'm like hard bubbles. So I can't imagine I'm, someone I'm taking my fan. bubbles and making yeah. them smaller. I'm like, but that's the experience. Yeah, I'm, she, I'm she, a that's seltzer. That's how you know Polly's well. old because she didn't call it seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> it's club she didn't call soda. It white when I think of seltzer, I can never, I can never stop thinking about you know that tablet you put in. Oh, alcohol seltzer. Yeah, I always think of that thing. <laughs> I always get confused with it. Like having a hard seltzer. I'm like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> you never, you ever made rockets with it? I've yeah, never I, had. I've only seen on TV. I did that as my science project one year, and they're like, okay, so what's your, like, conclusion? I was like, you put alka seltzer in it, it blows up. That's my conclusion. Then I got a D. Yeah, Rockets my conclusion cool. is that bubbles are awesome. <laughs> Fucking love bubbles. I don't know what they were expecting. <laughs> yeah, they asked a lot of bull there. Uh, so, uh, Newgrounds podcast, you guys seen anything uh, good on Newgrounds recently? I uh, I saw I saw the Doctor B's returns. That's 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 my my jam right now. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Which which part did you like best, Jacob? The part with the bees? I didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I <laughs> saw it that it exists, and I thought this is at least several minutes. I don't know if I have that long, but I'm gonna have to watch it eventually. So I've just been thinking <laughs> about it every like once an hour for the past two weeks. I think I personally, well, I like when there's exactly one B coming out of the box. Yes, that's, that's I like. Might be my favorite part. I like the part when he turns like the fucking omnipresent, super dimensional being into like his shitty sidekick. That's yeah. Oh, that's and Slimy Goo again did an awesome piece of art for B Boy, the actual B Boy. B-boy. Yes. What else you guys got? Uh, they're talking mm-hmm. about the chat. We got uh, Pico Night Pumpkin. It's the the eight bit FNF. Oh yeah, game. yeah. My friend Pico Carson Night made Pumpkin. that game. You yeah. have friends? Yeah. I what? I, you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he literally. We were talking about um Pico Day. He's like, oh Ben, what are you making for Pico Day? I was like, oh, I'm making this like small picture. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna make Pico. I'm gonna make a uh, Friday Night Funkin' and Pico Wait the week before Pico Day, and then he had it finished in a week. Jesus, that's just how easy it is to make Friday Night Funkin'. I'm like, no, he's just a monster. Way, way over credit. Nah, Friday Night Funkin' team's way overhyped. <laughs> <laughs> I um, so like a, I guess sometime like a week or so ago, I dropped a cartoon called Crypto Fantasy Seven, which was about Final Fantasy Seven and cryptocurrency. But that's, that's not so what I bring it up for. 
Thank you. But yeah, the reason I bring it up is that same day, uh, one of the other one of the other award winners is their count is it's Shushinus. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, they made Psycho Essence at number seven. And I took a, like I went down the rabbit hole of of their content, and it, it was absolutely mind blowing. So for anybody who likes legitimately like high quality mixed media animation, I have to drop that that link right there because wow, it's pretty like, fucking it, cool. Yeah, this like and this is this is all one person, and it's just you know it's like a year apart between episodes, that kind of thing. It's just really an insane. I'll be in a second. I'll go ahead and favorite it for later. This does look really cool. Yep. Yeah, I was talking about this in the NGPVC. I was just like, I was going to bed and I watched it, and then I had to get back on. He's like, "You guys got to look at this. You got to <laughs> see this." It's <sighs> kept me up till like six a.m. That's the good shit. Yeah. There is really important is. news on the front page right now. I don't know if you guys follow the artist news, but uh, our boy Snackers, uh, he posted on there. Uh, if no one got me, I know my boy Ivan Almighty got me. For real dudes, a real one. Uh, and so there's that. But I, I noticed that in, in nowhere in the comments, nowhere in the comments did uh, Ivan actually confirm that he does indeed have snackers. So I think we might have a little, might have a little drama here, guys. Oh, a little, drama. Mm, a little, little trouble, little trouble in paradise for snackers and Ivan. Just spe oh. speaking of animators, I want to plug. There's like a, I, I found this guy, and I feel like he's super underrated. Uh, this guy, Skosh55. Uh, his movies are so fucking funny, and he gets like no views. Like, yeah, he wins a lot in the chat. Man. Unfortunately, yeah, this dude like he reminds me a lot of like Oni and like Psychic Pebbles old cartoons. They have the same vibe. Oh hell yeah! I I watched this cartoon. That was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed that one. <laughs> <laughs> He he just posted uh, Pokemon Snap the secret technique. So if yeah, you've seen that. <laughs> that was my first exposure to his work. It was really funny. Oh man, I gotta yeah. watch all these eventually. Let's just let's just watch these silently instead of doing. Yeah, right. that, that's the show. <laughs> yeah. is, uh, that's the show. Just Sorry guys, we're, we gotta watch cartoons. Theater. Oh, actually, there's <laughs> this game on the front page, uh, Friday Night Funkin' by Ninja Muffin, and I don't know. It seems like it's kind of. It's kind of like Step Mania. It's pretty cool. You guys should check it out. I don't know. Oh, it sounds kind of gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, it's it's not even at the top of the front page. It's like down in the yeah, bottom. Yeah, like it's you know, like at the bottom. That's where the, the shit games. games. That's where the shit games go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the further down you are, the worse it is. Like, it's good to play yeah. if you're like a noob, but like, you know. Yeah, if you want to play a good game, you got to go up a bit. And there's like Castle Crashing the Beard, you know? That's, yeah, that's yeah, the good yeah. shit. Sacrifice is good too by Lumpy Touch. I enjoyed that. I mean, obviously, this stuff is on the front page, so like it, it's ex it's to be expected. But like, yeah, there's some there's still some some good stuff. There's there's what been the some pretty questionable stuff on the front page over the years. So. There have been. <laughs> I I have this conversation on a weekly basis with at least one other person who's like, "Yeah, Newgrounds is dead, isn't it?" No, it, it's not. <laughs> You're right, right. No. <laughs> Type of new I talk about this site. I talk about this site way too much, and every time the response is like, oh, that's still <laughs> that's still a thing? But even Always before was. Flash took its tumble, let's be honest, Newgrounds did nosedive in popularity because it was like all a bunch of kids who first went on it, right? And then as they grew up in adults and all had to do the adult life, it was an easily yeah. forgotten site at that time. I think they're just I surprised that other kids found college. it. Yeah. Did Social media ruined of, Newgrounds. Newgrounds is a generational thing. Like every generation that finds it finds it in their own way. Like my yeah. generation was obviously the first. So like we found when the whole oh, internet it's... was exploding in that that punk rock phase. You know, there was it was Wild West. So that's when we found it. And yeah, then the, after that, it was like thing. it was like that. What we were doing, the kids that grew up watching that, they're the ones that kind of took over from there. They and then, it was a simple time back then. We just needed to yeah. club some seals. Uh there was no <laughs> rhyme or reason to it. We just we just had to. And then now when you look at Newgrounds, there's actually a community and purpose behind it. So it is yeah, crazy it, how it, it kind of it kind of built up again. Like it used to be I, just about like shitty animators doing shitty animations that were funny and offensive, making games and whatnot. But then we got like the art portal shit. And guys People got good. There's a good artist. Right? Yeah. Then, right? That, I think, <laughs> that made the bar crack. Like, my generation, like, I can't keep up with this. We're done. And and eventually, like, more good people came, and that's where we are now. So I've really noticed, like, over the 
past decade or so, like the art has just gotten so good. Oh like the God, animations dude. that there are animations that get a few thousand views now, um, that like 15 years ago would have broken the portal, you know? Yeah, uh, which yeah, is yeah, exactly. that the saturation is lower, but it's just, you know, like um, right. the technology think, and the availability of this stuff is easier. Yeah, I think yeah. when it comes to the art on the website, what it was, the hugest difference between now, or like then and now was back in the day was just whoever was already a fan of Newgrounds is just whoever was drawing. Like you were already just established on Newgrounds, you just wanted to draw and you put it up, whereas now there's actual artists that are coming to it as a platform to upload on. They're not necessarily like we're Newground there's first kind of thing they were artists first who found new grounds after the fact so i feel like the quality is very up because of that oh, we'll see. i think, I think we'll see a lot of them join like i've like it's like it's i don't know new grounds is super like addictive like first you're like i'm just gonna use this as a platform and then you start like oh well there's this event and then you talk to someone and then you talk to more people and then you're like oh wait what the fuck i'm part of this community now what happened i find yeah. it so weird though because it's like it's like pulling teeth to get some people to start using the site, though. And yeah. It, like, yeah. I've suggested to artists who will, like who are really good and it will absolutely benefit them, and they only use, like, Twitter and Instagram. And I'm like, yo, you guys, you need to get on Newgrounds. Like, you will be successful there. Your art is perfect for the community. And it's like pulling teeth for some of these people. They're just, they're so, they don't want to do it. It's, like, for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's just another thing to manage for a lot of people. Like if you're if you're already doing yeah. well on a platform, it's hard to say it's worth the effort to do. But if you're if you're just starting out and you don't really have a reach yet, you want to kind of try everything and see what sticks. But I guess in fairness, anytime anyone's told me to put my music on SoundCloud, I've kind of had the same response. Yeah, but, but the SoundCloud thing is just a it. limited amount of minutes and blah blah blah. You know, versus yeah, 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 Newgrounds, yeah. there's no limit. Right. But I'm just guessing, like, their response to it is probably similar to where I am with SoundCloud, where I'm like, eh, you know, it's not, it's probably not going to go anywhere for me. And, um, it's just where you put your stuff and you care about it, you know? Yeah. In some yeah. artist defense for Newgrounds, though, there is so much porn associated to this website. I can see why <laughs> a lot are like, nah, yeah. I'm good, thanks. I don't know. I feel like it's like nothing on Tumblr. Like, to, like most of the artists Dude. are on Tumblr. And Tumblr is so, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, no, like, wait. I, no I recently that's, that's went to the art so portal. I recently went through the art portal because I had lost a piece. I was like, fuck, I just saw it uploaded. Where did it go? I'll just manually find it. I had to <laughs> sift through so much porn, guys. I was scared my husband was going to show up at any moment and just see my screen slathered left and right did with you, hentai <laughs> girls with penises. You, and like, it was nuts. Did you filter out A rated content? Yeah, or that's was like the easiest way to browse through. Newgrounds. Just turn off the adult what? filter and boom. But then yeah, you but lose the experience. A different website. It's crazy. I it either. Looks, I the either point is, have everything but adult content it. enabled or only <laughs> adult content enabled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, just saying, I know I would other. put it past people who are like, come to the site, see that, and just go, mm, no, not my cup of tea, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, I guess my <laughs> yeah, mom I probably would be a fan. I personally think it's fantastic. Yeah. Others, I can understand. Home sweet it's home. It's not for it's everyone. Yeah, it's not know. for everyone. Yeah. yeah. But I think that was another boom, though. You guys were talking about Twitter and shit and Tumblr, and I think that's that's another big thing. When they started cracking yeah. down on the questionable art, the, that everybody Tumblr found was porn. the place. Yeah. And then what was surprise, oh. surprise, the fucking site just, it tumbled. You know, Tumblr tumbled. And now no one yeah. fucking uses it. <laughs> All right, well, man, that was again, guys, on here. I just, I just want to say once again, thanks for having me. I do have to dip out, but this is this. Oh is yeah, a, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm right here with you, man. Everything you guys are saying, it's just, just well, I'm in the echo chamber. Here we are. Like, yeah. Right now, this is, <laughs> this is drinking the about. Kool Aid. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah Enjoy again, uh, bathing suit hunting. Go try yeah, on the go swimsuit suit for the new yeah. bro, man. We gotta go take a dive. Yes. But yeah, Can't I look forward to having you guys on the uh, on the event. And again, if anyone has any questions about the New Grand Summer Festival. Hit me up. Until then, use Newgrounds every single day and become a Newgrounds supporter. Yeah, if you're not, what are you fucking doing? What's wrong with you? What the fuck are you doing? Unless you're a kid and you don't have money, then I then I sympathize with you. Yeah, I, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, Mow a goddamn no, lawn. No, no. <laughs> you <laughs> mom's credit card like everybody else. This is the 1950s, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> true, 
True story. One time I really, really wanted uh, Xbox Live points. So I, I literally found my dad's social security and I used that oh to get God. into his PayPal account. And I started buying <laughs> like Steam games and Xbox <laughs> games. You're the reason why I, I don't want kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, trust me, I am very much the reason you don't want kids. You'd have to even half of it. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go get my banana hammock. So get yeah. you guys later. Bye. Have, fun yeah, have me on me. Snap. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a fucking cool event, I think. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. excited. That. No, that actually sounds really fucking dope. Just like being, because yeah. one of the hardest parts about like networking on Newgrounds is like you see someone's shit, it's really cool, and like you just message them, hoping that they don't think you're a fucking creep. You know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, sometimes that's it works one of the weird out, things. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But like when you're able talking. to just all be together and actually meet people and like see what they have going on and they can see what you're going on, just having like. Um, a live networking experience, you know, I feel like that'll uh, birth a lot of projects. I, I, uh, I always feel it's hard to even like um, uh, help out. I feel like I've been on Newgrounds, I've been a bit in the community for almost 20 years on and off, but I don't think I've ever been productive once. I don't think I've ever helped out in anything <laughs> once. I feel like maybe it's my time. Yeah. Maybe this is it. This is literally the first oh, yeah, is. based thing you've ever done. This, this is it. <laughs> This is this is the peak. It took you Let's twenty years, but here Paul. I am. I'm just gonna help. Let's make something, Sam. <laughs> make it. I heard I heard a rumor we're gonna make a sausage game. I heard we're gonna. Do yeah, that. I I sh I put up the oh, yeah. the, the ink work for all of the NPC concept art. I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel inspired. Bull boy's gonna learn how to program and make it for you. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So you're just passing. I heard that about him. Yeah. Josh said he'd yeah. mentor me. He'd teach me. You sit yeah, down. Please. Show me the ropes. <laughs> I teach you everything I'm willing to teach, and then I did. Basically, yeah, like I, think, I think we like, went you know, easy route. <laughs> he's like, you know, Flash. Route. Don't use that. Yeah. He's like, all right, <laughs> goodbye. Fair. Learn how to Google. That's that's the best advice I can give to anybody. <laughs> Um, but we, we made we decided to make it sort of maybe sort of easy. You could do it. It's just clicking. Is clicking easy in the program? I feel like that must be easy to program. Well, you could click on like X factors, you know? Yeah. See, we're there making we it right now. This this is real code right there. We're done. We got it. <laughs> Nailed Upload it. Into the portal the game right now. Practically, yeah, it's practically uploaded as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you guys got going on for projects? I know, uh, Bull Boy, you're working on uh, animation, and Jacob had a part in that. How's that going? Oh, uh, it's 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 uh, it's going. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's get, it's get, I'm getting progress done every week. It's just I was like, you know, this is I was like, did all these like longer projects. It's like, okay, I can do this. Like these, like these were longer, but I'm gonna scope it down like a ton. I can get this done like in a month. And I started in March, and you know, we're almost in <laughs> June, and it's not even halfway <laughs> done yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it always goes your, though your work timeline was like what everybody said the pandemic was going to be then oh and it's just yep. it's only gonna be a month yeah yeah and now you're wearing a mask right now yep <laughs> oh well not until tomorrow tomorrow my state's dropping mask mandates it's gonna be a fucking shit show you're like going yeah. about it all wrong the bull what you need to do is set yourself a hard deadline and as you get way too close to it pull it josh and just convince a bunch of other people to do the work for you yes <laughs> yes that's, See, that's that, literally... my original deadline was Pico Day, and then I got to Pico Day. I was like, like, first off, this has nothing to do with Pico Day. And also, there's no way I'm getting this done in time for Pico Day. <laughs> yeah. So just guilt a bunch of people in the channel to feel bad for you, get them to help out, and you're practically done. To be fair, I didn't guilt anybody. I just said, help! And they were like, oh, this dude's <laughs> awesome. I want to I wanna help him. Uh... I was like, I want Josh to like me. Yeah. yeah, he's always making fun of me. <laughs> yeah, yep, it's either yep, that or get it. bullied by Josh. So well, no. You, the trick is you bully people the entire time you're working, and then you give them an opening where they can get your approval. So it's like, <laughs> you to, yeah, you know. <laughs> and then when and, they're old enough and they find and figure out it was all worthless, they'll hit the ball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like for a game that didn't even work. <laughs> Hey, you guys tweaked it and polished it a bunch after the words. Even when you're like, that's it, I'm done. I'm not even looking at it ever again. I saw you go back to it a bunch. It doesn't oh, work yeah. on Google Chrome. You oh, bad God. programming. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried Firefox? <laughs> God. I, I legitimately hated that game like the day after I posted it. 
We're talking about Rogue by Rumble if you if you guys aren't in the know. Yeah, but it has official porn art or like fan art. So like, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's a funny story about that. So we get the game done and it's not doing great because it was it, it it still is kind of broken, but it was broken at the time. And I asked Sam, I was like, you know, all these games that get like porn fan art do a lot better. So you want to draw me some? She fucking did. And we'll have to link that. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to look that up right now. It's pretty PG for porn art, but like, I mean, two robots smashing. It is yeah. what it is. It is, but it's animated. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first time I ever tried to animate anything for like 10 plus years. Uh, contrary to popular belief, having the, uh, the pornographic fan art did not, get any more attention on the game it's weird yeah it doesn't it doesn't help when you have a shit artist that tries to help you out <laughs> <laughs> should uh, probably got someone with way more views uh, i should i should uh made my characters more uh i don't know quiet i don't know a little more curvy you know no, the, a, little little more, a little bit of you know oomph to them if you know what i'm a little saying more, like a little more badonka donk in the Put a little more like three foot long tits. <laughs> no, no, I am gonna I am gonna make a new version, so I'm gonna make a new version and it's just gonna be Oh, hang on, hang on. We got uh, our bot just died. I gotta try and get him again. This is the uh, technology we deal with on Discord. Hey, it's better than back in the day. God damn. Okay, he's back on. Hopefully we didn't lose too much audio there. But uh, we're all recording. We're good. I feel bad for whoever has to edit this show because I don't. I don't edit this show. <laughs> Jacob, you want to do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And like that, this whole episode was forever lost to the time and darkness of the internet. There was um, an episode that Zen. I forget who else was Zen and Will. I think they were talk. They were trying to talk to like uh, Ninja Muffin and all those guys. And the fucking recording bot just kept dying, and they were on for like God, I'd be three, six hours. I forget how long it was. And then Zen just had to take like all this random audio and turn it into an episode. And he uh, <laughs> he sh he shot himself, but his hat brought him back to life. Just kind of like Frosty the Snowman. True story. That's deep. Yeah, yeah. I've been on. I, I would say about a third of the episodes I've been on have actually become episodes. <laughs> He's still still holding on to that, aren't we? Oh, yeah. so get your baby. <laughs> Me and Josh were already talking, and like I, I forget if you were part of this conversation or if you, for whoever doesn't know this, but way, way, way back in the day before Discord ever existed or any kind of good platform for communication whatsoever uh we had radio grounds and we would just spam the bbs yeah. for people to come and listen and we were like you know what we should start a little separate little podcast like themed one where we bring back ramen in 80s day and i was like i want jababy as our guest and every time he shows up he can only Woo! show up saying he can only talk in the toe sucker voice and that is all Getting into inside joke territory. Jacob is kind of a kind of a voice actor. All his voices are just himself in some variation. But yeah, he does I, a toe well, sucker voice that uh, Sam really likes, and that's the story. Mm, My favorite thing is when I got Jacob. <laughs> the animation, he was like complaining about. He's like, man, anytime I get put on a project, they just want yeah. Okay, voice. Sorry, I was like, God Jacob I was like, you and can I, do whatever voice you want, and then he does his and I did voice. My voice. I did my fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than just my normal voice, you guys. <laughs> well, give him a give him a I'm taste. What than... other voices you got? Give him a taste. Oh, for my I'm more than yeah, just a grown up. man in the in the body of a baby. <laughs> well, okay, we have we have Jacob who has Jacob. We have the toe sucker voice. What else we got? Well, I, listen, these days the are behind me. I'm not a. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be, but then I wasn't. Yeah, put their life behind him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's out he's, for good. He's, he's happy in his own skin now. That's what we can say. His silky baby skin. But yeah, Jacob was talking about it. earlier. He's he's still holding on to the fucking Pico Day 2020 episode where we were on for like fucking six yeah. hours. 
and Jacob co-hosted. <laughs> And At least. we got we got real drunk and we watched a lot of Pico movies <laughs> and did a lot of Pico shit and none of that made it into the recorded versions. No. But that's because Henry Ives was supposed to edit it and then he died. Rip. Pour one out for Henry. Pour one out for Henry. F in the chat, everybody. Uh actually a little bit of a scoop here. Uh I don't know. Apparently uh Henry Henry is not a fan of the uh the, the the rip henry eyes thing well if he really? didn't like it he could come back and say something until then that's he's true. fucking dead that's true <laughs> why did you die yeah why did but you why? do that have you tried not dying i can't i can't imagine anybody's really a fan of being dead but that's true well listen you had two uh... options you made a choice yeah you could be dead or you could not be dead and he's dead just like Will Homer. Will, Will Homer recently died, and, and we're all sad about yeah. that. Well, uh, did he die and then come back immediately, though? He 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 almost came back immediately today, but he did. He took a few days. <laughs> so it's more he's, like he's, it's more like a sick leave than anything. He's, he's like really slow, Jesus. Like Jesus took three days. <laughs> Will, Will Homer's like three weeks. It's gonna be it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be three months. I call it Jesus, when slow Jesus comes back and blesses the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Wakes up just as a long stretch. He's just gonna watch it degenerate in front of his eyes, and he won't be able to take it. He'll have to come back. That's right. Anybody and that's why we're recently? here. <laughs> Did yeah. Anybody else die recently? I feel like more people should have died this last year. It's kind of more of a. I didn't hear a lot sure? of Newgrounders <laughs> dying. I think Newgrounds um, might might make you immune to the pandemic. Because I have not heard about oh, a lot of new Yeah, being time. a shut in helps. Well, yeah, yeah, none of, yeah, none so of us cancer, ever fucking just... left the house anyway. <laughs> yeah. like... We're all hermits by <laughs> nature. So, yeah. Our community was born for this. I don't even think <laughs> they noticed. I don't even think they knew there was a pandemic. They just found out. <laughs> like, there was a vaccine. Like, what? Vaccine. <laughs> I saw it on Reddit. I don't know. It's like February 2020. They started working yeah. on the animation. And then they looked up and it's today. I'm not going to lie. Why, why are people life? wearing masks? Like, wait, my like, life what? changed so little to the point where I think I realized how little exercise I got because it was just the equivalent of walking to the the bus the station to take the bus oh. to go to work, and that was it. That was it. That was the only <laughs> thing that changed in my whole fucking life. And I was like, "Fuck, I should walk." I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can. My yeah, legs. it was actually rough it's... at first. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think I went for a few months where I was like, I'm just not gonna go outside, and then I had to like go pick up cat food, and like my legs were wrecked. And I was like, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an astronaut when they first come back to Earth, and you have yeah. used to your limbs and like however long. Pretty much, it was like that burn. Like you go to the gym, and you're like that. That can't be good. That was a five minute walk. That's not. Mm. I'm gonna get blood clots at this point. I did just start going back to the gym, and I had my first leg day on Saturday, and I couldn't walk for like three fucking days. <laughs> well, then little baby legs, man. Come on. Right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I squat down like six inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go back to the gym. I haven't done it yet, but I'm ready. We've, we've been working out at home, and it's not the same. It's, it's just it's not, not the same. It got you don't have the same account, uh, the same accountability. I feel like I, I don't get me wrong. I really suck at going in the gym or exercising and keeping up with my health at at any point. But the little bit of time I did go to the gym, as soon as I was there, I was like, "Well, I'm here, so I might as well go hard." Right. I feel yeah. it's got like an office environment where you're like, "Well, all these other people are exercising, so I should be exercising." Yeah, you're like, "Look right. at that guy!" It was really embarrassing when I went to like one of those like cardio classes, and the <laughs> seven year old lady was like fucking killing me, keeping up with the instructor, and I was like dying. So I was like, mm, "Yeah, it, it it keeps you motivated." <laughs> yeah, but see, that bitch has been doing it since she was forty. So don't let her get you. It's it's the you actually want to you actually want to look at like the slightly overweight twenty eight year old that just came in. <laughs> that was that's, me. That's, that's the that's me. the one. Yeah, look in the mirror is what we're I saying. Just, yeah, I just, like, <laughs> I just look in the mirror to see my sweaty red face. Like I hate myself. <laughs> just you know, you're the one everyone looks to to feel better about themselves. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome, gym people. <laughs> see, when you're doing it at home, though, what I find you have like. Minimal equipment for one, so you can do like maybe 30 minutes and you've run out of shit to use, you've run out of shit to do. The cardio regimen, like I in the, especially in the winter, I'm working out in my garage. My cardio regimen was like literally 
running back and forth the length of a fucking yoga mat. And like that gets old after five minutes, you know? So <laughs> that didn't work so good. Like when you go to the gym, you can get on a machine, you can go for like yeah. 15, 30 watch minutes. TV. You know, you do you watch, watch a bad soap a, opera that's like playing? Yeah. You, can get on one of those, you can get one of those bikes, you know, just turn on a show. And if you have an hour long show, yeah. you know, you're just on the bike for an hour. Or you yeah. just yeah. catch up Doesn't on matter. the Newgrounds front page. That's that's what I do. Yeah. You listen to the Newgrounds podcast. That's I actually well, do that. Josh just loves listening to himself. We don't want to we don't yeah, want to give right. you no, no. like, kick him out of the gym because he's got a huge heart on by the time he finishes. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> like, sir, you need to wipe and down. Then, this, then you get in the uh, sauna. I mean, I, like, sir, you got to come all over that bike. Like, we can't even use this anymore. It's so yeah. gunked up. There's not enough uh, towels in this gym to fix this. <laughs> like, this this is the fifth time you The pedals are stuck. Yeah, yeah. everything's wet calcified don't work. now. <laughs> got a lot of calcium in there, you know. I drink a lot of milk. <laughs> There's a guy with a chisel fucking trying to free the bicycle pedals. <laughs> <What? laughs> Uh, so we're gonna have to yeah. ask you to stop coming. Oh wait, that works too. Sure. Like literally, you're welcome. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, to all of you both. That's the real reason I haven't been to the gym in a year. The coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the chisel guy embarrasses you. Yeah. No, I don't mind. He does some really good work. He made a fucking SpongeBob sculpture out of a pedal once. It was great. Wow. Wow. SpongeBob. Sure. Pretty bad. I love SpongeBob. My fucking oldest kid grew up on that, so yeah, he's that's how old I am. Kid. That's that's how old I am. My oldest kid. Yeah, grew it, up it fucks with my head when I'm like, "Fuck, he's almost my age." Oh, well, dude, you, know? you want to know what really fucked me up? So I knew Josh when I was like 13 or something, and yep. I used to, every day of my life. We started our relationship bullying each other from the get-go. And every day of my life, I would just call him old and make him feel bad about being old. I'm like, yeah, you're old and you have kids. You're and old. then. And then he fucking hits me up and he's like, hey, do you know you're older than when you used to call me old? Broke me. <laughs> older than he was when you used to call him old? Yeah, like I'm older yeah. than him when I used to call him old when I was a kid. And I broke that day. Right. <laughs> I'm just done. I lost like a part of me just like lost every will to live and I was like done. <laughs> no. In in two more years, my youngest daughter is gonna be the same age you were when I met you. <laughs> oh fuck me, man. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> yep. That's it's that's how old cool. you are now. Time is cruel and I do not like her. See, I've like had I've finally... had years. Years I wasted. I wasted the prime of my Newgrounds life. So if there's anyone here who's right. still young, who's at Newgrounds, like you're living with your parents and you have all that abundance of time, I cannot stress this enough. Fucking milk that time. Be productive. <laughs> Push oh yourself. God, yes. Do your art. Do your animation. Do your fucking music. Do it every fucking second of your goddamn day. You're real, gonna become an adult, you and great. you will have. Not only will you be an adult and not have the time. When you do have any time as an adult, you will have no energy to do it. So do it now. Yes. Speaking of someone who just got out of college, I, I wish, wish I was on Newgrounds when I was younger. I was too scared because I was like so intimidated by it. But I was like, you know, I respect this community. And I finally pulled the plug last year. And man, I feel like such a fucking idiot for not doing it so many years earlier. Like, you yeah. know, like, like kids, like, I'm going to like, what's it like, uh, like Bacon. Like Bacon is like, he's 18. That kid is right. so fucking good. And I'm just right? like, man, what was I doing like all these years as a kid? I was just fucking jerking <laughs> off, playing like on my PC all day. <laughs> hey, like, if it makes me feel better, I was on Newgrounds, still not being productive or doing anything. My contribution to Newgrounds was shit posting in the BBS. That's all I have under my belt. I That's moderated it. an unofficial chat room that yeah. got axed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. In the answer of slow solo for homework, uh, just pass. That's all I gotta say. Just pass. Yeah, every pass. every other do second. The bare day, minimum. Do I will you say do. the bare minimum. Bare minimum. <laughs> one thing I <laughs> one thing I realize now, as far as homework goes, one thing I realize now, because I never did my fucking homework, um, is that the amount of time <laughs> it would have taken to do my homework would have been like what an hour. Yeah, yeah. Which, you just pump it out. Just, it's just, really, like it's fucking nothing. It feels like a lot because it's bullshit that they're making you do shit at home after you've been there for seven to eight hours. That's changing I agree. Though, a bit. I fucking there's also. Of, there's a lot of teachers kids. that are going with like, it's not that trendy yet, but there are some teachers who are like, nah, homework's stupid. It's fucking dumb. Yeah. It's like, like no, my, my I, kids like, got I don't homework. Learn anything. 
my kids got homework after doing all their schoolwork at home during the pandemic already. Like fucking eight hours of just working at home. Like that was fucking grinding. Yeah. That's, that's, that's obviously a, a different situation, but uh, I know, but yeah. like you think if ever there was an exception for homework, this this year would have been it. But no, they got more. I think I think if you're in high school, <sighs> if you genuinely think you have any future in being an artist or like a musician or a voice actor or anything like that, it takes so much work. And like you can't half ass it. You have to put like every ounce of your soul into that career or that potential. Yeah. So as much as I don't want to dissuade you not to do well in school, uh, there's nothing you're learning in high school that's going to um flourish that skill. Like that's only gonna come when you have a chance to get into college or onward after. So like just get your homework out of your way, just get that shit done. It honestly will take you an hour if you actually sit down and do it as fast as you can and then take the rest of your weekend and actually be productive and do cool shit. Especially your summer vacations. Yeah. Don't stay up till three in the morning like me. Stupid video games that you have nothing to show for anymore. Go right. actually do some productive Focus shit. Focus on what you want. You know, yeah. what is it that you want to be doing in your future? What is it that you like, like, fantasize yeah. about? You, you know? have to build your career um, now. Like, you just have make to shit happen. Now. Yeah. You're not okay. going to love your work as much as you want to. I'll, I'll say for most of us, and it's a good thing that you don't because it means you have room to grow and you know where you have room to grow. But just fucking go for it and just finish shit so that, yeah. you know, you have that oh, in yeah. your practice. And like, just finish it. Only. Do not get stuck in the polish trap. This was something as a kid that like ruined me and made it made me hate art. Like your art is going to suck no matter what. So you should focus on just finishing it. Don't be like, oh, I, right. I can make it better. Just be like, just be like, I'm done. Like be like, get it yeah. right. to a certain point and be like, and then anything that you think being like, oh, that could be better. Just go, okay, that's gonna be. I'll do that for the next one. And then right. each consecutive art that. piece, you just want to be like, yeah, all right. Like, look at what you did wrong, but okay, I'm going to prove on this for my next art piece. And you will yeah. get so good me. so fast. That's the I know what'll like, happen with the other me. Way, the other like, way you can go is not be good and just, just put a shit post art like I do. And it fucking yeah, works. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, but everyone fucking well, loves it. that's the thing. Like, just trust your gut and just go for it and finish it and yeah. see what happens. Don't get um, stuck um, comparing yourself because uh, it's kind of like going on what right. Bull said. It's like, uh, you know what? There's always going to be someone better than you. It doesn't matter how good you are. Well, and, you and you also could be like you, bacon. There's still someone better than you. It doesn't matter. But you also criticize your shit more than anybody because nobody's experiencing it the way that somebody who's been looking yep. at it or listening to it or whatever for hours and hours on end. And nobody, it's not the way the world works. Like nobody, yeah, nobody, has nobody that says I'm only going to look at the best. Nobody says I'm only right. going to look at the best. I'm only going to listen to the best. I'm only going to watch the best because that would suck. You'd only have like four things right. every fucking year you could look at, and nobody wants to do that. So, you know, as right. long as you're as long as you're doing shit. And for me, it's got to be shit you like to do. I like like if I'm going to do a right. project, it's, I'm I'm bogged down by work, and I've got family responsibilities, and then I've got just the stuff I want to do that's not artistic or anything, just for my own sanity and then this fucking podcast <laughs> you know so when i want to sit down and draw i'm just gonna draw something that makes me happy makes me smile whatever and throw it out there and then just do that that's fine um to just like touch base into what alby said where it comes down to like less of distractions and having a hard time concentrating okay so i know we're all we all suck at this and there's something we're probably all struggled at and started and failed but honestly book the time just set time slots um yeah. so that way you you're allowing yourself to be like i'm only going to concentrate on this and let's say it's only an hour or two it's still better than nothing because that hour and two every day or every weekend or whatever it adds up in the long term versus just saying i just don't have time i'll never get to it and then it doesn't go yeah. anywhere uh so you can do it. it a little bit flexibly. You can, like, cause like yeah. the way that I do my booking for the day is like, there are some things that are hard set, you know, like work or whatever else where it's like, I have to be here at this time because I've committed to it for somebody else's sake. But the rest of the time it's like, okay, um, you know, after work, I'm going to do these three things, you know, um, and w the order they come in is variable, but I have to do these three things yeah. so that I at the end of the day, I can look back and be happy that I did it and go to sleep happy. And then I feel good because I did it. And then I want to do it again. 
you know? I, th I think it definitely depends on the type of person because I will procrastinate to right. the last second. So if I don't give myself like, like you're going to start this at seven or else, like I will just like right. be like, oh, but it's midnight now. It's bedtime. Got to go. Like I'll, I will, <laughs> I will fuck myself. Right. <laughs> so definitely everyone's each their own, whatever works for you guys, but definitely schedule. Because I feel like what happens with distractions is that you're like, should I be doing this or should I be doing this other thing? Because that's doing, that's important. That's whatever. And you, you build this guilt that's what really blocks you versus being like no i allotted this time i worked stuff around it so i'm allowed to just like not worry about anything else but and also as a, as a as as an overthinker and i imagine a lot of us are, are really just overthinkers you know where it's like, like i'm i'm playing this game because i'm overthinking something else or i'm trying to distract myself from what i'm thinking about like you can still just do the shit instead. You can clean your fucking apartment. You can you can work on um on your piece of art or you can like study or whatever. Um and still have that little part of your brain that's focused on something else if you like that. Um like I don't know, just follow your impulse. The part when you're when for a second you're like, I should work on this right now. Just go do it. Yeah. yeah. You know but that's the thing. Even if you if you if you make yourself start working on something, like if you know you're just going to sit around and do nothing. It's like, okay, I'm going to make myself work, work on something for five minutes. Give yourself five yeah. minutes because you might not want to do it, but five minutes in, if you've put the time in and you get, you're, you're going to get in the zone and you're going to go for it or you're not. And if you're not, if you can't get into it after five minutes, that's not the time to do the work. Do something but at else. least try. But yeah, exactly. Try. Yeah. Do that five yeah. minutes and you know, don't get too mad. If you, if the five minutes doesn't work, then clearly you're not in it. Do something else, whatever. But like, don't quit just because, you know, that five minutes didn't work. Go back later. Come back when you're in a better state of mind, whatever it is. But, no, you know, I, think, just, um, just try. I think that's a Sometimes really you smart just way to think. Too. Yeah, I think that's a good way to think of it, too, because, like, I know this is, like, kind of like going back to D&D, classic poly. I always talk about d, &D. <laughs> uh, as a DM, uh, a lot of the time I would procrastinate until I had to, like, plan an entire chapter in, like, right. a day or two. And then it was just like, oh, my God, this is my whole day now. My whole day is this. I'm just, like, stressed out. It's eating up my time. I'm getting annoyed. I I'm not having fun doing it. And then I, I sometimes what I would do is, like, at work, I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to work my lunch break on it. Or I'm going to work 15 minutes on it at least minimum every day. I'm Even if it's just a sentence, I'm going to do something a day. And then in the end, I was like, you know what? I got more done in less time because I just did a little bit every day. And I didn't have that stress that kind of, like, pulled me back and had me, like, triple thinking about things that didn't matter. So I think being in a good headspace is great. And Josh's suggestion, like you said, start five minutes. If you're not into it, at least you put in five minutes. And that adds yep. up in the end. And if not, you know, it, it extends. Great. You do more and you get inspired. Yep, yep. And if you do something else instead, you might find that maybe that thing you were doing just isn't what you wanted and you've you've moved on to something better too. Like you'll you'll, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Also but, wait, just quick, oh thing that I just no, no, action master talking about, uh that was your room being messy. Like if you got a messy room, not gonna <laughs> lie, I know it's like a, probably a daunting task. You will be so surprised at how much better your mental state will be if you clean your room. I like my room's Agreed. a little bit of a mess right now, but every time I clean my room, I'm like, yeah. man, this feels good. I'm like, yes, it's so yeah. clean. Like I feel like I have space. And it just it boosts my mood so much. And I feel like I get so much work done because I'm not constantly be like knocking over stuff like fuck there's trash on the ground. There's See, I was I was just saying in the chat like that my my room represents my brain and oftentimes it's like I keep it messy because my head's messy and then I'll clean it when I want to clear my mind. But sometimes you can just clean it and it will still have that <laughs> effect, you know? Yeah, it'll I think still clear it's your more, mind. It, even I if... think for, for Bull, it's more because it's a productivity thing. It's because it's the checklist mentality. Because you did something productive, you get those like uh, good feel brain right. waves or whatever, the dopamines or whatever they're fucking called. You get that right. flowing through you. So you're like, yeah, and that's probably what's I, motivating. I know dopamine. for me, Thank like, you, like too much of my too much of my brain is focused on like, you know, why I'm not doing well enough, you know? Um, why my my maybe why my art isn't good enough or why I don't study enough or why I you know blank 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 things where I'm not enough you know and when my apartment's also messy I have a visual representation of that and when I clean it I can look at it and say like oh no I fucking did the shit <laughs> you yeah. know um, you and it's just like a it's a constant visual reminder of like no you did the shit you're taking care of shit you're yeah. good 
I, See, I'm I not the same way as that. Like for me, time, I, I feel like I have to be focusing on something or doing something most of the time. Even if that doing something is like something stupid, like catching up on TV shows, I have to be doing something. Right. But um, when it comes to cleaning, I don't feel like I should have to do that most of the time. But then there's things like that I feel like I should be doing more of, like just, just listening to music or just listening to a podcast. And I never make time to do that. So things like that where you can mix with cleaning, like I can fucking rock out and have my speaker blare in and clean. Like you mix two right. things together if you can. So like yes. anything that's daunting, if you can mix it with something you don't mind doing or something you want to catch up on, do it. Uh, working out's another good example. That's, like if I yeah, have behind yeah. on podcasts, I don't necessarily want to go work out. I don't want to go for a walk or a jog or whatever. Yeah. But if I throw a podcast on my headphones or I throw like a, a bitchin' playlist and I, I just go and do it, you know, 30 minutes later, I'm like, oh, okay, that was great. I am 100% agree. When you can mix so, two things that you kind of yeah. want to do, but you feel like you, you can't quite make time for, like like watching, you know, that show, but you feel like you should be working out or whatever, and you can do both. Like you can ride on the bike while you watch that show or listen to that album. You know, you can listen to that album while you, while you fucking clean. Yeah. Like I think, combining um, in, two things is like so yeah, rewarding I, and a great I think time. in those cases it's like a it's especially um because it doesn't feel like a chore anymore and i think that's the hardest part for people to get a hurdle hurdle around like they never want to start something because it feels like a chore but if you're like but i'm watching something fun or i'm listening to something fun that helps a lot yeah, right, yeah. yeah. for me it's also just like good use of time where i'm like also, I, I get i get hyper focused on like because my executive function is shit or at the very I least i'm you. like focused on like like what's the best way to do this and i spend so much time doing that that i don't do shit um when i can like combine a couple of things it's like oh no yeah <laughs> and it tickles that fucking uh i don't know that thing i'm trying to get right <laughs> yeah it's beautiful red static by the way that's a beautiful drawing of, of so my right that's glasses. i know it's it's red static uh, just did a wonderful art perfect. It's, it's baby jacob with very very big <laughs> Muscular pack. Uh, not just big titties. Yeah, I was say, large nipples, areola. Like, areola. I think those are thumbs. <laughs> yeah, got, you have two fingers. <laughs> I think those are chest thumbs. Arms and oh, um, but you're happy, and that's all that matters. Look at that smile. That's right. It's so I'm big. So happy. Just, on that note, I, if I, I think can we, critique uh... one piece, wait, one <laughs> one critique. Hang okay, on. Okay, get it in there. Get it in that there. That diaper bulge is not big enough. Now you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, we, we never got into the the, the, the drawn dicks. The drawn. Oh dick. yeah. Who draws is the dick master? Yeah, thank you. Mistress. Polly Wapple, <laughs> Sam here is the master of cock. She. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got that in there. <laughs> All right, All right. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Them up. We're, we're just gonna it leave up. it right there. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> uh, real quick, if anybody in the chat does have questions for our guest host, because these guys don't get on here very often, uh, let's 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 yeah. get them. We got some questions coming up here. Can I have my own category called Dick Master in this channel? <laughs> Can there be a color just for that? Dick Master. Yeah. We'll you tell are the master of dick. Uh. Fuck, I got drunk. I didn't mean to. Well, <laughs> no, I feel like you should have every what single time like, <laughs> you drink, Jacob. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. the pure the pure static. When we do. Beautiful. When we do. Mwah. You cowards. That's okay. You cowards. Now. <laughs> well, we I'm don't have a lot of... Oh, wait. Sorry. Slow Solid says he has a question. Or they have a question. What? What is it, Slow Solid? What do you got? It's like right, about Jacob's we, fucking bulge we, we need update? at least one question for this segment, <laughs> or, or it's it's terrible. <laughs> just dead air while we wait for this question. Come on, yeah, it Soul just, Solid. It just on. turned into us lecturing the entire Action like, days about being have productive a and doing cool shit. There was no room for questions. Okay, here we go. Not it's on not being confident not being... when beginning to draw. Okay, I can help with this. Because as yeah. a non-confident artist, um, I think what's most important and what's the hardest part is that you're 
you have to really separate your inspiration and your comparison. And this is super important and it's a super fine line. So yes, look at those amazing artists for inspiration, but never, ever, ever compare yourself to them because even when you do, even if you take two fantastic, amazing artists, there's some people who are gonna love one and hate the other because style difference is so, uh, subjective uh, you can't there's even if you're at max level art you know so what you got to do is you can only compare yourself to yourself and that is it you can look for inspiration but your comparison could only come from yourself so uh this kind of goes back to bull what he was saying before finish it whatever it is it doesn't matter finish it and upload it regardless of what it is or how good it is or how many mistakes there are it doesn't matter because one day you can look back on that and be like wow i've come such a long way i shade different now or my lighting's gone a lot better so don't don't just like bury your mistakes to never be seen again put it out there you need to compare to yourself and that's all you want to compare to and yeah, it's cool on Newgrounds because on Newgrounds, when you when you look at a really good artist, go back and look at the old shit. You'll see that progress, right. and it, that's a really cool record but, of your own progress and success you can keep too. But you're also noticing something that you like, like like you really like this art, and that's what you're experiencing, and then you're relating it to yourself. But yeah. what you can do there is say, I really like this. Why do I like it so much? What is it about this that that inspires me that that makes me feel like i'm seeing art in a different way you know what i mean like for me now, with music I, where i'm just like i realize the question. space they're creating huh yeah i have a question on that note sam why do you like drawing dicks so much okay so that's a very good question i don't know if i have an answer for this it's almost like, it's almost like therapeutic to me <laughs> it, it's just something that are easy i think it started with uh parties and getting drunk and people passed out. And what do you do? You draw dicks on them. You draw a dick on their head. And yeah. then, you know, like that was my whole life as a teenager, <laughs> a young adult was going to parties, people passed out, draw dicks on them. And then people start complimenting me on my dick drawings. I was like, oh, I guess that's my thing. I'm really good at drawing dicks. And then it just kind of <laughs> kept evolving. And that was just my go to. Like, you know what? You know, sometimes you just got to get those scribble doodles out. So you're like, before you get to your good drawing, that's my dicks. <laughs> 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 all right i don't know wonderful and like wonderful. you know what just to go back also to slow solid for one more thing too um you'd be surprised like even if you're like i'm not that good you'll always have a fan you'll always have someone like my fan is snuggles mr snuggles loves my shit i don't know why i'm not good but he loves my shit and he keeps me going so you know what you're gonna find your own fan who's gonna love your shit no matter where you are in your progression right find someone who looks at your art the way mr snuggles looks at hers <laughs> yep that's the answer that's it all right and that's our show for today folks good hanging out Woo! with everybody thanks right. to uh stan pie for coming on and letting us know about the uh, summer festival god that is fucking be stoked. awesome uh, we got a shout out to our patrons here. I don't know if this list is up to date. So if you're a patron and I miss you, I'm sorry. I don't have the list. This is what I got. Yell at Zin Cynics. Anyway, we got uh, our $5 super patrons. We got Spectre Lee, Zachary Jones, ZJ, my boy. Yeah, we've got our other $5 patrons. Bacon. Bacon. Love bacon. Benny. Uh, who I like to call uh, Plumfot, even though uh, his name is Pluffmot, but he, he called me out for fucking it up, so we're just going to keep this bit going forever. We got Boozo. We got Teresa. We got Great Teen Vids 14 Kids. And we've got Kid with a 1. We've got our Grand Super Patrons. Drum, Commander Ken and Kevin Polo. And then we've got our $20 Ultimate Grand Super Patrons, Cortex G and Mr. Tom Thump! Woo! Woo! Thanks to our patrons, wow! thanks to our yeah. audience, thanks to our guest hosts, and thanks to our guests. This has been a wonderful show, and I am buzzed as fuck. Go yep. out there. Draw, make music, animate, have fun, support Newgrounds, all that shit. Just do it! Thank you for listening to the Newgrounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord.
For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. I love you so much.